Oh, great That's song. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> a Thanksgiving meal isn't complete without a pie. Bing Bing Pie and Biscuits has got you covered on various flavors to fit everybody in your family's taste buds. Bringing his fine dining experience to the casual cafe setting is Michael Chapchak, founder and owner of the Pie Shop. You're celebrating 12 years of baking for Thanksgiving. Michael, thanks for being here. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us how you go from this fine dining background to create this amazing pie shop. Well, um, I just wanted something that uh, really didn't keep me up at night. <laughs> you You're know? telling me this didn't keep you up at night? Well, <laughs> Starting this time of a business. year, for sure. Come on, man. But, uh... <laughs> well, you clearly know what you're doing, because yes. congratulations on 12 years. That's I awesome. mean, that's a long time. Thank you. I yeah, and that. I feel like now, I mean, I think you guys were one of the first people on the Chicago scene with, like, kind of gourmet pies, and, and you've kept that level up. Yeah, we've tried. I mean, there's, you know, who's your mama probably set the... the they're they were very OG, first, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> and we love them. We look to them as uh, that there was a market for pies in Chicago. Yeah. All the other cities had, you know, several uh, thriving pie shops, but uh, at the time, 12 years ago, there wasn't as many as there are today, but now we're blessed with so many. Yeah. That's awesome. And you guys have been busy this last week. You were just telling us that you had a party to peel apples. That's right. So we get our <laughs> uh, apples from McClug Farm in uh, mm -hmm. St. Joseph, Michigan, and Abby and her husband personally deliver over three tons of apples. Uh, and we get the whole friends, family, everyone comes together and we, and we peel over 22,000 apples. How long does that take? <laughs> uh, I think this year we set a record. Uh, I want to say it was seven-ish hours. Way to go, everybody! Wow. <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's sort of what sets your pies apart, the fact that you guys are you know, use local ingredients. I mean, this, these are high quality pies, right? Well, we like to think so. Yeah, yeah. So what do you have with us today? So for Thanksgiving, we keep it relatively traditional. We uh -huh. try to do the bang bang take on, you know, classic favorites. Uh, starting with our most popular uh, is pumpkin, roasted pumpkin. Beautiful. Uh, the one I brought on set is topped with our vanilla whipped cream. Um, then we have a new pie this year. It is a cranberry swirl cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, that's okay. a little bit that more of a wild great. card. It has, you know, traditional, everyone loves cheesecake, and cranberry right. is kind of associated with yeah. Thanksgiving, so we combine the two, and that one's super decadent. And is the cranberry, like, smooth, or is it little bits of cranberry There'll in there? There'll be tiny little bits, okay. but it is as smooth as we can get it. Gotcha. Uh, so there's a layer of cranberry on the bottom, oh, vanilla, uh, orange, uh, scented uh, cheesecake filling, and then we swirl cranberry on top. Uh, next is my personal favorite, uh, mm. chocolate pecan. So our take on a traditional pecan with uh, some dark chocolate mixed Ooh, in there. Beautiful. That is in our house roasted uh, graham crust. Uh, moving through, we have these are a nice hostess gift or if you, you want to cook our biscuits at home, that's our biscuit mix, which is available year round. Uh, for Thanksgiving, we do miniature versions of our signature buddy, buttery biscuits uh, in yeah. baskets of 12. Those are really fun additions to the table. Uh, we have jams, uh, cranberry, uh, rosemary jam, blueberry lavender, and then kind of a savory peach habanero. We also sell, uh, which I didn't bring, uh, pie crust baked brie. And Ooh, uh, wow. you can top that with the, uh, the peach habanero jam or the cranberry yeah. jam as we do. Uh, we have savory pot pies. Uh, these are miniature versions, which are great uh, if you're not wanting to celebrate the full yeah. bounty of Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. We have a southern tomato and our classic chicken. And then the second most popular pie is our um, spiced oat apple pie, which Beautiful. is in our all butter pastry crust. And then aforementioned yeah. apples. And your whipped cream too. The whipped cream, whipped yes. Cream. Uh, and is that a key lime pie over there? That is our best selling pie, oh, so we do keep that love a key lime. Uh, on offering as well. And that so is, love that. Uh, honestly, that's our third most popular for Thanksgiving. Well, can I? Can we taste something, Michael? <laughs> Absolutely. What's happening? Like, uh, uh, I sliced an apple. Ooh, All right. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, is it too late weight. for people to order these? It is too late oh, to guarantee too late to a pie, but okay. uh, we're open. Thank you for asking. We're open yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday uh -huh. this week in Logan Square from 8 to 5. Mm. Uh, oh, my God. And we do probably, I'd say, about a, a fourth of the pies we remain for walk-ins. Oh, uh, so, this is you know, so good. Awesome. Mm. Yeah, everyone that shows up, you know, I can nearly guarantee that mm -hmm. you'll leave with the pie. Just, you yep. know, certain flavors will sell out earlier in the day. Love it. Thank you, Michael. Of course. If you'd like to get your hands on these delectable Thanksgiving treats from Bang Bang Pie and Biscuits, head to their location in Palmer Square or head to their website, still eating, bangbangpie.com. <laughs>